As you know, Forbes just released our billionaires list, and I'm excited to talk to you about the youngest people who made the cut. Let's dive into the fascinating world of billionaires and uncover the youngest billionaires in the world in 2024. These individuals have achieved extraordinary success at a remarkably young age, and their stories are nothing short of inspiring. From self-made entrepreneurs to heirs of family fortunes, these young billionaires are not only building empires, but also shaping the future. Clemente Del Vecchio, 19 years old. At just 19 years old, Clemente has achieved what many can only dream of, amassing a staggering net worth of $4.5 billion. But how did he accomplish such incredible success at such a young age? The answer lies in his family's wealth and the remarkable company they built. Let's delve into the extraordinary life of Clemente Del Vecchio, the youngest billionaire in 2024. Born on May 14, 2004 in the vibrant city of Milan, Italy, Clemente grew up in a world of privilege and opportunity. Clemente seemed destined for greatness from the start. His father, Leonardo Del Vecchio, is the founder of Luxottica Group, the world's largest eyewear company. Clemente's father, Leonardo Del Vecchio, took the family's entrepreneurial spirit to new heights, forever changing the landscape of the eyewear industry. Leonardo, a visionary in his own right, founded Luxottica Group, a company that would revolutionize the world of eyewear. With his keen eye for design and a commitment to excellence, Leonardo transformed Luxottica into a global powerhouse. Luxottica's breakthrough came in the 1980s when they introduced their own brand, Ray-Ban. The iconic sunglasses became an instant sensation, adorning the faces of celebrities and fashion enthusiasts worldwide. Luxottica's success only grew from there. Leonardo's strategic acquisitions and innovative business strategies propelled Luxottica to new heights. The company acquired renowned eyewear brands such as Oakley, Persol and Vogue, solidifying their dominance in the industry. As Clemente grew older, he witnessed firsthand the empire his father had built. He saw the dedication, the passion, and the relentless pursuit of excellence that defined Luxottica. Luxottica's ability to control both the manufacturing and retail aspects of the industry gave the company a competitive edge, ensuring its products were readily available to consumers worldwide. This unprecedented growth and expansion solidified Luxottica's position as the world's largest eyewear company, with a market value of over $50 billion. But Luxottica Luxottica's success wasn't just about acquisitions. The company also understood the importance of adapting its business model to suit different market conditions. Luxottica collaborated with local experts in each market, leveraging their knowledge and insights to navigate the complexities of international expansion. This localization strategy allowed Luxottica to resonate with the preferences of different regions, ensuring its products were tailored to meet the unique needs of each market. After decades at the helm of affairs at Luxottica, Leonardo handed the day to day leadership of the company to Chief Executive Francesco Milleri in December 2020. However, just three years later, Leonardo died in Milan's San Raffaele Hospital after being admitted with pneumonia. Following the passing of his father, Clemente, along with his stepmother and siblings, inherited a substantial portion of his father's wealth. As a result, Clemente became the youngest millionaire in history at the age of 18. Reports suggest that he inherited a 12.5% stake in his father's Luxembourg based holding company, Delphine, after his death, along with his stepmother and six siblings. With this immense wealth at his disposal, Clemente has already begun making strategic investments. He has taken calculated risks, investing in companies like Zoom and Flixbus, showcasing his keen eye for promising ventures. These investments not only demonstrate his financial acumen, but also his desire to support and foster innovation in various industries. However, Clemente's interests extend far beyond the family business. While assuming control of the established enterprise may be expected, he has has shown a keen interest in real estate. Rumors abound that he owns several opulent properties in Italy, including an apartment in Milan and a home in the picturesque Lake Como. This diversification of his investments highlights his desire to explore different avenues and create a lasting impact beyond the eyewear industry. Clemente's passion for science and technology remains unwavering. He continues to immerse himself in these fields, attending conferences, collaborating with experts, and exploring the latest advancements. His dedication to pushing the boundaries of innovation and his desire to make a positive impact on society are evident in his actions. Clemente's potential to make a significant impact in various industries is undeniable. His vast wealth and access to resources provide him with the means to support groundbreaking research and development. By investing in emerging technologies and startups, he has the power to shape the future and drive progress in fields such as artificial intelligence, renewable energy, and biotechnology. But Clemente is not alone in his youth and wealth. The world is witnessing the rise of young billionaires who are making their mark in various industries. Kim Jong-un, 20 years old. 
Kim Jong-un, the daughter of Nexon's founder, Kim Jong-ju, was born in 2004. Little did the world know that this seemingly ordinary girl would one day become one of the youngest billionaires in history with a net worth of $1.7 billion. Her father, one of the richest individuals in Korea, left behind a legacy that would shape her future in unimaginable ways. Nexon Group, the gaming company founded by Kim Jong-ju and Jake Song on December 26, 1994, would become the source of Kim Jong-un's immense wealth. Although the company was established in Seoul, South Korea, its main office is currently based in Japan, with multiple offices across the world, including South Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and the United States. Nexon quickly rose to prominence in the gaming industry. The first game developed and published by Nexon was Nexus, The Kingdom of the Winds, which was launched in 1996. This marked the beginning of a series of successful game releases that would solidify Nexon's position as a major player in the gaming world. Games like Kart Rider, Elancia, Dark Ages, online role-playing Elemental Saga, Quiz Quiz and Shattered Galaxy captivated audiences and propelled Nexon to new heights. To maintain and expand its reach, Nexon established a subsidiary called KRU Interactive, formerly known as Nexon Inc. to maintain and develop its games. One of Nexon's most successful titles, Maple Story, was developed by another subsidiary called Wizit. This franchise became a global phenomenon, with localized versions in Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore, Japan, China, North America, Vietnam, Brazil and Europe. Maple Story's popularity soared, and it has been serviced for over 10 years, captivating millions of players worldwide. But Nexon's success didn't stop there. The company also developed the immensely popular online free-to-play computer game Dungeon and Fighter through its subsidiary Neopol. This game became a sensation in China, attracting a massive player base and further solidifying Nexon's position as a global gaming powerhouse. After almost a decade as a private company, Nexon made a groundbreaking decision. On December 14, 2011, the company went public on the Tokyo Stock Exchange, marking a significant milestone in its history. The initial public offering of Nexon became the largest in Japan for the year and the second largest worldwide for a technological company. This move allowed Nexon to expand its reach even further and solidify its position as a major player in the gaming industry. With its newfound success, Nexon began acquiring different game developers and investing in various opportunities. In 2016, the company acquired Big Huge Games, a mobile game developer based in Maryland. This strategic move further expanded Nexon's portfolio and allowed them to tap into the growing mobile gaming market. By 2021, Nexon had already invested a staggering $874 million into Bandai Namco Holdings, Konami, Hasbro and Sega Sammy Holdings. These investments showcased Nexon's commitment to growth and its determination to stay at the forefront of the gaming industry. Kim Jong-un's father, Kim Jong-ju, played a pivotal role in Nexon's success. He was not only the founder of the company but also a partner at the New York-based venture capital firm Collaborative Fund. His entrepreneurial spirit and visionary leadership were instrumental in Korea's first-generation tech wave, which was sparked by the launch of Nexon in 1994. In 2013, Kim Jong-ju's net worth reached an impressive $1.6 billion, earning him a spot on the Forbes billionaire ranking as the 11th richest person in South Korea. At the time of his untimely death in February 2022 at the age of 54, he had amassed a staggering net worth of $10.7 billion, making him the third wealthiest person in South Korea. Kim Jong-ju was married to Yoo Jong-hyun and together they had two daughters, Kim Jong-yoon and her older sister Kim Jong-min. The passing of Kim Jong-ju left behind a massive amount of wealth for his family, including stakes in Nexon that would forever change the lives of his daughters. Kim Jong-yoon and her sister inherited approximately 30.78% of Nexon's shares from their father. These shares, combined with their existing holdings, catapulted their net worth to unprecedented heights. However, despite their significant ownership in the the company, their father had made it clear that he did not want them to take over the reins of Nexon. Before his passing, Kim Jong-ju stated that the company would be passed down to seasoned employees who would uphold the company's culture of fairness and transparency. This decision shocked many as it deviated from the traditional path of succession within a family-owned business. After her father's death, Kim Jong-un instantly became a billionaire when she and her sister received a staggering $2.5 billion. Each of Kim Jong-ju's daughters received approximately $1 billion dollars after taxes, solidifying their positions as some of the wealthiest individuals in the world. It is worth noting that Kim Jong-yun's mother, Yoo Jung-hyun, was already a billionaire before her husband's passing. She owned 4.57% of Nexon's stake in the company, a testament to her contributions in building the company from the ground up. With her additional shares inherited from her husband, Yoo Jung-hyun became the largest stockholder of Nexon, with 34% ownership. 
She currently serves as the company's auditor, ensuring its continued success and growth. The story of Kim Jong-un's rise to billionaire status is a testament to her father's vision and the legacy he left behind. Despite the challenges of high inheritance taxes and her father's wishes for the company's future, Kim Jong-un has managed to carve out her own path in the world of wealth and success. Kevin David Lehman, 21 years old. Kevin David Lehman's journey to billionaire status began with a stroke of luck. He inherited 50% of his father's stake in the German drugstore chain DM Drogery Markt. This inheritance not only secured his financial future, but also propelled him into the ranks of the world's wealthiest individuals with a net worth of $2.5 billion. But what exactly is DM Drogery Markt, and how did it become the source of Lehman's incredible wealth? Drogery Markt, also known as DM, was founded in 1973 by a visionary entrepreneur named Gotts Werner. With a passion for providing high-quality products and exceptional customer service, Gotts set out to create a retail empire that would revolutionize the industry. A year after its founding, Gunther Lehmann, then running his family's Fankuch grocery chain, invested in DAM. The first DM store opened its doors in Germany, and it quickly gained popularity among consumers. The unique concept of offering a wide range of products, including cosmetics, healthcare items, household products, and health food and drinks under one roof, was a game-changer. But what truly set DM apart was its business. Philosophy. Gotts Werner believed in a flat pyramid structure, where every employee had a voice and shared responsibilities. This approach fostered a sense of collective ownership and created a positive work environment. The success of DM was not solely measured by profits. Gotts Werner placed a high emphasis on the well-being and satisfaction of his employees. He believed that by taking care of his team, the company would thrive. This unique approach earned DM a reputation as a company that valued its people above all else. As DM continued to grow, it expanded its operations beyond Germany, venturing into other European countries. The company's commitment to quality, affordability and customer satisfaction resonated with consumers, and DM quickly became a household name. In recent years, DM has taken its business even further, expanding into countries outside of Europe. The company's presence can now be felt in the Czech Republic, Hungary, Slovenia, Slovakia, Croatia, Serbia, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Romania, Bulgaria, North Macedonia, Italy, Germany and Austria. Austria. This expansion has solidified DM's position as a global retail powerhouse. The company's commitment to its core values, coupled with its ability to adapt to changing market trends, has allowed it to thrive in an ever-evolving industry. Today, Drogery Marked stands as a testament to the power of innovation, customer centricity, and a strong corporate culture. It continues to provide customers with a wide range of high-quality products, while also prioritizing sustainability and social responsibility. The impact of DM extends far beyond its financial success. The company has created thousands of jobs, supported local communities and contributed to the overall well-being of society. It is a shining example of how a business can make a positive difference in the world. It was within this thriving ecosystem that Kevin David Lehman found himself at the helm of a retail empire. The transfer of the stake in DM to Kevin not only made him a billionaire, but also gave him the opportunity to shape the future of a company that had already made a significant impact on the world. With over 2,000 stores spread across Germany, it has become a household name, providing essential products to millions of customers. From beauty and personal care items to household goods and pharmaceuticals, DM Drogery Markt offers a wide range of products to cater to the diverse needs of its customers. The success of DM Drogery Markt can be attributed to its dedicated workforce. With over 41,000 employees, the company has created numerous job opportunities and contributed to the German economy. Its commitment to providing quality products and excellent customer service has earned it a loyal customer base and solidified its position as the go-to drugstore chain in the country. But what role did Kevin David Lehman play in the success of DM Drogery Markt? Interestingly, neither Lehman nor his father, Gunther Lehman, are actively involved in the company's day-to-day -day operations. They prefer to maintain a low profile, allowing others to manage the business. This air of mystery surrounding the Lehmans only adds to the intrigue surrounding the youngest billionaire in the world. According to Forbes's 35th annual billionaires list, released on April 6th, Kevin David Lehman's net worth stands at an astonishing $3.3 billion. His inheritance from DM Drogery Markt has catapulted him into the ranks of the world's wealthiest individuals, making him a prominent figure in the world of billionaires. Despite his immense wealth, Kevin David Lehman prefers to keep a low profile, shying away from the glitz and glamour often associated with billionaires. Unlike many of his counterparts, Lehman has no discernible presence on any major social media platform. He remains a mystery to the public, leaving many curious about the young billionaire's day-to-day -day life. While some youth's rise to billionaire status is often accompanied by a highly publicized lifestyle and a massive social media following, Lehman
Simon has chosen a different path. He prefers to let his wealth speak for itself, focusing on his personal endeavors away from the public eye. So what does Lehman do with his vast fortune? While details about his personal life are scarce, it is believed that he indulges in a variety of hobbies and interests. From luxury travel to collecting rare artifacts, Lehman's wealth affords him the opportunity to explore his passions and live life to the fullest. Beyond his personal pursuits, Lehman is also involved in philanthropic endeavors. Although he prefers to keep his charitable contributions private, it is rumored that he supports various causes and organizations that align with his values. His philanthropic efforts demonstrate a desire to make a positive impact on the world, even as he enjoys the fruits of his immense wealth. While Lehman's low-profile nature may leave, some craving more information, it is this very air of mystery that adds to his allure. The world is captivated by the enigmatic lifestyle of the youngest billionaire in the world, eager to uncover the secrets behind his success and the choices he makes with his wealth. Kim Jong-min, 22 years old. Kim Jong-min, who is worth $1.7 billion, comes slightly lower on this list for being about two years older than her younger sister, Kim Jong-un. Like Jong-un, Jong-min also inherited her billions from their father, Kim Jong-ju, who founded Nexon in 1994. As a teenager, Kim Jong-ju spent countless hours playing games and studying their mechanics. He became fascinated with the idea of creating his own games and dreamed of making a lasting impact on the gaming world. Little did he know that his dreams would soon become a reality. In the early 90s, Kim Jong-ju's entrepreneurial spirit led him to establish his first company, Nexon. At the time, the gaming industry was still in its infancy, with limited online capabilities and a predominantly console-based market. However, Kim Jong-ju saw the potential for growth and innovation in the emerging online gaming sector. With a small team of dedicated developers, Kim Jong-ju set out to create a unique gaming experience that would captivate players around the world. He believed in the power of connectivity and the ability of online gaming to bring people together. This belief would become the foundation of Nexon's success, the Kingdom of the Winds. This massively multiplayer online role-playing game, MORPG, was a groundbreaking achievement, offering players a vast virtual world to explore and interact with. Nexus quickly gained popularity, attracting a dedicated player base and setting the stage for Nexon's future endeavors. Building on the success of Nexus, Kim Jong-ju and his team continued to push the boundaries of online gaming. They introduced innovative features and gameplay mechanics that set Nexon apart from its competitors. One of the key elements of Nexon's success was Kim Jong-ju's introduction of the free-to-play business model. At a time when most games required upfront payment, Kim Jong-ju recognized the potential of offering games for free and monetizing through in-game purchases. This revolutionary approach not only made gaming more accessible to a wider audience, but also allowed Nexon to generate substantial revenue. The success of this business model would pave the way for the company's future endeavors and solidify Nexon's position as a leader in the gaming industry. With each new release, Nexon continued to captivate players with its innovative games. MapleStory, a side-scrolling MMORPG, became a global sensation, attracting millions of players from all corners of the world. Dungeon Fighter Online, a fast-paced action game, also achieved immense success, further establishing Nexon as a dominant force in the gaming industry. Kim Jong-ju's leadership and unwavering commitment to excellence were instrumental in Nexon's continued growth and success. He fostered a culture of creativity and collaboration, encouraging developers to push boundaries and explore new ideas. This culture of innovation resulted in the creation of groundbreaking games that captivated players and set new industry standards. Beyond his contributions to Nexon, Kim Jong-ju was also known for his philanthropy and commitment to social causes. He established the Nexon Foundation, which focused on supporting education, healthcare, and environmental initiatives. Kim believed in using his success to make a positive impact on society, and his generosity and compassion were deeply ingrained in the values of the company he built. After the passing of Kim Jong-ju, his eldest daughter Kim Jong-min found herself thrust into the spotlight as the inheritor of an enormous fortune. Alongside her sister, she inherited approximately 30.78% of Nexon's shares, a stake that would forever change her life. Both sisters received an equal amount of shares upon their father's death, solidifying their positions as major stakeholders in the company. However, it was revealed that their father, Kim Jung-ju, had never intended for his daughters to take over the company. In a surprising twist, he had made it clear that Nexon would be passed down to seasoned employees who would maintain the company's culture of fairness and transparency. This decision shocked many, as it 
defied the traditional path of succession within a family-owned business. Despite their father's wishes, Kim Jong-min and her sister found themselves holding almost half of Nexon's shares. This newfound wealth instantly catapulted them into the ranks of the world's wealthiest individuals. However, their journey to billionaire status was not without its challenges. South Korea's high inheritance tax posed a significant hurdle for Kim Jong-min. Although she had inherited a substantial amount, she lost almost half a billion dollars due to the payment of taxes. This setback could have deterred many, but Kim Jong-un's determination and resilience propelled her forward. The immense wealth she acquired opened doors to a world of opportunities. Kim Jong-min's financial resources allowed her to explore new ventures, invest in various industries, and make a significant impact on the global stage. Her journey as a young billionaire had only just begun. It is worth noting that Kim Jong-min's mother, Yu Jong-hyun, also played a significant role in the family's wealth. Even before her husband's passing, she owned 4.57% of Nexon's stake in the company. Her contributions to building Nexon from the ground up were greatly rewarded, making her a billionaire in her own right. Yu Jong-hyun's additional shares inherited from her husband made her the largest stockholder of Nexon, with 34% ownership. As the company's auditor, she continues to play a vital role in ensuring its success and growth. The mother-daughter duo's combined influence and wealth make them a force to be reckoned with in the business world. Kim Jong-min's journey to becoming a billionaire is a testament to her resilience and determination. Despite the challenges she faced, she managed to overcome them and secure her place among the wealthiest individuals in the world. Her story serves as an inspiration to young entrepreneurs and dreamers everywhere. With her newfound wealth, Kim Jong-min has the power to make a lasting impact on society. Society. Whether through philanthropy, investments, or innovative ventures, she has the ability to shape the future and leave a legacy of her own. Luca Del Vecchio, 22 years old. Luca Del Vecchio, who is reportedly worth $4.1 billion, is the second sibling on this list, coming four places lower than his younger brother Clemente. Luca and Clemente are the youngest of Leonardo's six children. Luca was born in 2004 from Leonardo's affair with Sabrina Grossi, a Luxottica investment advisor. The passing of Leonardo Del Vecchio, Italy's iconic eyewear, magnate has not only marked the end of an era but heralded the dawn of a new chapter for his heirs. With an estimated fortune of $25.5 billion, the inheritance process is set to make his descendants among the wealthiest individuals globally, reshaping the landscape of wealth and power in Italy and beyond. Leonardo Del Vecchio, renowned for his journey from factory apprentice to eyewear tycoon, crafted his empire meticulously, leaving behind a legacy that extends far beyond his lifetime. At the helm of his Luxembourg-based holding company Del Delphin. Del Vecchio's assets encompassed a vast array of investments, including ownership stakes in industry giants like Sunglass Hut, Ray-Ban, and Oakley. It's important to note that the Del Vecchio family's wealth extends beyond Luxottica. Leonardo Del Vecchio's shrewd investments in various industries, including real estate and finance, have further bolstered their financial standing. This diversified portfolio has ensured the family's continued prosperity and secured their place among the world's wealthiest dynasties. The Del Vecchio family's legacy is not just about their immense wealth. They have also made significant philanthropic contributions, supporting various charitable causes and initiatives. Through their philanthropy, they have touched the lives of countless individuals and made a positive impact on society. The distribution of Del Vecchio's wealth among his heirs, spanning three marriages, promises to transform the fortunes of his progeny. His second wife, Nicoletta Zampillo, and six children stand to inherit significant shares of the conglomerate, instantly propelling them into the realm of billionaires. Leading the pack is Luca Del Vecchio, who has emerged as one of the youngest billionaires globally. Alongside his siblings, including Claudio, Marissa, Paola, Leonardo Maria, and Clemente, Luca inherits a substantial portion of Delphin's assets, setting the stage for a new generation of Del Vecchio leadership. Central to the inheritance is Del Vecchio's stake in Essilor Luxottica, the world's largest eyewear firm, a cornerstone asset valued at $22.2 billion, complemented by investments in esteemed entities like Italian insurer Generali and French real estate firm Covivio. The Del Vecchio heirs inherit a diverse portfolio primed for continued growth and prosperity. Yet the transition of wealth is not without its intricacies. With ownership structures and familial dynamics to navigate, the Del Vecchio heirs must chart a course that balances individual ambitions with collective stewardship of the family legacy. Delphine's governance framework, requiring unanimity among shareholders for key decisions, underscores the significance of cohesion and collaboration among the heirs. While the spotlight shines brightly on Luca Del Vecchio as he ascends to billionaire status, the broader implications for the Delhi. Vecchio dynasty and its businesses remain to be seen. As custodians of their father's empire, the siblings face the dual challenge of preserving tradition while embracing innovation 
Italian, navigating a complex tapestry of global markets and industry landscapes. For Italy, the rise of the Del Vecchio heirs signals a continuation of the country's entrepreneurial spirit, with Luca poised to carry forward his father's legacy onto the world stage. As the next chapter unfolds, all eyes are on the Del Vecchio dynasty, poised to shape the future of business and wealth for generations to come. And that wraps up our exploration of the youngest billionaires in the world in 2024. These remarkable individuals have defied the odds and achieved extraordinary success at such a young age. From the eyeglasses industry to online gaming, drug stores to investments and e-commerce software to fish farming, their sources of wealth are as diverse as their backgrounds. Whether they inherited their fortunes or built their empires from scratch, these young billionaires serve as an inspiration to us all. Their stories remind us that with determination, resilience, and the ability to seize opportunities, dreams can indeed become a reality. For more content like this, click on the videos showing on your screen now.